everybody, welcome back to episode two of my holiday series. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make two gorgeous and delicious main dishes for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna show you guys how to make stuffed acorn squash two ways. I'm also gonna show you guys how to make this delicious sweet potato and gnocchi dish. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram at Plantiful Kiki. I'm constantly posting food and lifestyle inspiration there, and I'm always posting to my stories as well. And just as a reminder, High Carb Hannah and I's weight loss program, Eat More, Way Less, will be available in January. And for everybody that joins our mailing list to be notified for when that program is available, we'll receive 50% off. So make sure you join our mailing list. I will link that for you guys below. And as far as my sweater, you guys always ask where my sweater come from it's just off of Amazon I will link it for you guys what I've been doing is on my web page I have a whole like Amazon page and products I love where I'm just starting to link everything and you guys have really asked for me to put them all together in one place so I have been working on that so again I will link this sweater in the description box for you guys but you can also check out the products I love page and the Amazon page on my website you can so you can see everything that I like from spices to appliances to sweaters. And as always, I will link the recipes for what I'm gonna show you guys today in the description box below. These holiday recipes are not in my cookbook, but they are on my website. So I will link everything for you guys below. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the acorn squash so that I can get it roasting. So I'm just gonna cut the tops and bottoms off so that they sit flat. Okay, so now I'm just gonna scoop out the seeds. Alright, so only cut a little bit off the ends or you'll have a hole like this one. So, which is fine in the end, it's not a big deal, but you can't avoid it if you just don't cut as much off. Alright, so now that these are all cut and de-seeded, I'm just going to season them with a little garlic salt. So now I'm just going to turn them over. and then I'm gonna roast them at 425 for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so the first stuffing I'm gonna make for the stuffed acorn squash is actually just like a traditional turkey stuffing without the turkey. And we like to put that in the acorn squash and then I'll show you another stuffing after that. So, so I just buy these bags of like croutons basically, like the stuffing base from Whole Foods. They're not seasoned, I just season them myself. But you can also buy like pre-packaged stuffing that's already seasoned and you don't have to use the oil that it calls for. Both of these do have a little bit of oil in them. But for the holidays, I really don't worry too much about there being a little bit of oil and stuff. I use a little bit of spray oil around the holidays to help give things a little richer flavor without having to actually add a ton of oil. All right, so first I'm gonna dice up this onion. And then I'm going to dice up two celery stalks. get these into a pan and I'm gonna start sauteing them until they're nice and cooked down. All right, so I've got my pan turned on to medium high and I'm just gonna cook these down. I'm gonna add a little bit of this vegetable broth and that'll just help them cook down. All right, so now these are done cooking, so I'm just gonna move them back over into a bowl. All right, so before I add my onions and celery into the bowl, I'm going to add my stuffing mix. So 
that's probably about four to five cups. And if you're gluten-free, you generally can find gluten-free stuffing base in the store. All right, so now I'm gonna add the onions and celery. Okay, and then to that, I'm gonna add some vegetable broth. I'm gonna start with about a cup. And you basically just wanna get the stuffing to where it's kind of soggy. So I'm gonna add some more. So then to that, I'm gonna add a little salt. And again, you can do all of this to taste. And then I'm gonna add poultry seasoning. Now the poultry seasoning is what gives it that, I don't know, Thanksgiving stuffing flavor. Now I'll add some more poultry seasoning. All right, so that's good to go. Now I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the other stuffing. All right, so this next stuffing is actually my favorite for stuffed acorn squash. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take some cooked rice. You can use white rice or brown rice. We generally love white rice, but I'm out. So we're gonna use brown rice. All right, so I've got about two cups of brown rice in there. So to that, I'm gonna add some diced onion. Now you can cook this down separately, but if you dice it small enough, it's not necessary and I do anything to avoid an extra step, so. You only need about a half a cup. And then I'm gonna add some Honeycrisp apple. a lot of apples so you decide how much you like so now I'm just gonna add some sweet and dried cranberries not too many you just want a nice light sprinkle in there all right and so to that I'm gonna add some poultry seasoning Poultry seasoning is great because it basically tastes like Thanksgiving. In one shot, it's got thyme and rosemary and sage in it. All right, and then I'm gonna do garlic salt. And if you're salt free, just use garlic powder. I'm gonna add a little ground pepper, a little more poultry seasoning. And you can just keep tasting it until it tastes good to you. Again, I will put exactly what I do for us, but then adjust the seasonings to your own liking. Okay, so the acorn squash are done, so I'm going to carefully turn them over. And I'm gonna begin stuffing them. So this first row, I'm just gonna stuff with the cranberry, apple, and rice stuffing. All right, and now I'm gonna take our traditional stuffing and stuff this row. All right, so now you can totally skip this step, but I'm gonna take a little bit of avocado oil spray and just give everything a light spritz because I don't want it drying out. This is not something I do regularly, but on the holidays when we have family, I want everything to look really nice, especially to non-plant-based family. 
Okay, so I'm gonna pop this back in the oven at 425 for about 10 minutes. Okay, so for the gnocchi, the first thing you need to do is boil your gnocchi, and it only needs to boil for about two to three minutes. Now this is just like the grocery store brand, but Delalo makes a really good one, and, it, and they also make a really good gluten-free one, so I will link those for you in the description box below. All right, so I'm gonna get this boiling and then drained off, and then we'll finish putting the dish together. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do for this dish is get some red onion cut up and you just want it nice and finely minced. So all you need is about a quarter cup of minced onion and then I'm gonna take some mushrooms and quarter them. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some sweet potato that I had baked yesterday, and I'm gonna peel it and cube it up. All right guys, so for the gnocchi dish, all I'm gonna do is start cooking down the mushrooms and onions and letting the sweet potato brown up. So for this, I am gonna lightly spray my pan. You don't have to do this if you don't want. To season it with a little garlic salt and I'm also gonna add a little crushed rosemary it gives it a really good flavor and I'm cu cooking this on medium-high and letting it sit so it gets nice and crispy so I'm gonna start moving it around Okay, now that my mushrooms are nice and brown and the sweet potato is starting to brown, I'm gonna add in the boiled gnocchi and I've already drained it and rinsed it off. Now gnocchi likes to stick to pans, so this is why I sprayed a little bit. You might need to spray it a little bit more. I'm gonna add a little more garlic salt and a little more rosemary. And then I'm gonna add some grated black pepper. All right, and that is done. And I like to serve this dish with a little jellied cranberry sauce. I just get this at the grocery store. It makes an amazing addition to this dish. Alright guys, that is it for me today. Thank you for watching this video. I will remember to link my sweater in the description box because I know you guys are going to ask. I will be sure to put that in there. Make sure to stay tuned next week for my Thanksgiving desserts video. Alright, I love you guys and I'll see you next time.